afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Update. We've got some breaking news out of Carowinds. Oh, boy. Now, Andy, Andy, we're getting into that time. You can tell I got my golf shirt on. The sun is shining through my window here. It, it must be teaser and announcement season because I'm home for lunch, and we're doing a show while I'm eating my lunch over here. So, you know, you know, we got, you know, we got a busy day. Well, uh, you know, uh, Carowinds did drop another uh, set of numbers for us uh, for their Project Alpha. Um, no so posters, they, though. What? No posters, though. No posters today, though. A little strange. I don't know if they're saving those for later. So I guess we'll just talk about the numbers here. Yep. Um, and we have two interesting, uh, or excuse me, three interesting numbers now. So on Granny's Secret Recipe, we have the ingredients of... Uh, 3,255 hand-picked berries, yep. 530 teaspoons of sugar, and two spoonfuls of Granny's secret ingredient. Mm. Um, so it sure sounds like the hand-picked berries, that would be track length 3,255. Yeah, I don't know what else that could be. Um, mm. The two spoonful, spoonfuls of Granny's secret ingredient I just launches launches there. Yeah, I think that's what we're look. I think that's what we're looking at here. Um, the two minutes twenty twenty four seconds, whatever we already said, might be ride time. Sixteen people. Um, the five thirty is the interesting one because that's the one that doesn't really lend itself. You know, that's not an angle of any sort. That's not a number of inversions. It's too high to be a ride time, which we think we already have anyway. In the two minutes twenty seven seconds, um, it's not a height. It's it's. Uh, I, I wouldn't think anyways. Uh, five thirty. I I don't think so. Um, the only thing that I thought of is there. There's some discussions that if this ride is like a blue fire, which it could be. Uh, given some of the the stats that we think we've been given, and if it is a Mac multi launch, um, you could have stats similar. If I, I thought Blue Fire has like an indoor dark ride section before the launch, and there's talk that it would be launched out of a barn or a shed type thing, I could maybe see 530 being the amount of track that's inside a launch building or uh, a dark ride type building, but then you're only leaving 2,700 feet um, outside of that, which I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's enough. Maybe that's a reasonable amount. Well, that's, that's a lot of track to, to put inside, isn't it though? It is. It is considering uh, what we think the overall track length is. Um, at 3255, that's not a very long number, but a two minute, 24 second, uh, ride time. I mean, we just learned that Kennywood's got a 4,000 foot long coaster. That's only two minutes long. So if you're, you're going to have a shorter coaster, that's longer, uh, with a launch and no lift hill, maybe you need, maybe you're going to eat up some time in a dark ride type building. So I, I don't know. I think, I think it's, again, I think it's plausible. Um, I don't know what else 530 could really be. I, I've got nothing on 5:30. Um, That's the best that I can that I can come up with, and I'm not really unless, sure. Unless you're converting the number to something else, uh, you know, <laughs> like and, centimeters. I don't. I, yeah, unless you do something like that, I don't see what else you could come up with there. Um, but but I, I think overall, you know, having having begun to piece this together, uh, you know, Danny, I've been doing a little research here on uh -oh. my own, um, and and I think I'm coming closer to what the story of this ride is going to be. Um, and, and, and a lot of things that you have said over the past few weeks uh, kind of added into this. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the one, the one thing is that we see throughout mm -hmm. all the teasers is this moonshine theme. Um, and we see it once again in, in this yeah. video with, with the, um, you know, with the ingredients. Um, we've seen it before when uh, they talk about granny's jam, which is also a reference to moonshine. Uh, that moonshine, I feel, is going to be a big part of this. And we've been trying to rectify how does moonshine tie together with the name that we've seen, trademark Copperhead Strike. We don't know if that's a real name still. We, we, you know, we, we're not sure. But after doing some research, Danny, I found a few interesting things. Um, yeah. One, one fact that, that may not connect to this at all um, is uh, there is a Copperhead Moonshine Distillery in South Carolina. Um, Only a couple hours away from Carowinds, just north of Greenville. Um, and, and they, you know, uh, 
it's called Copperhead Mountain Moonshine. And, and maybe there's a tie in there. We know Cedar Fair uh, is doing a lot with the alcohol, with the brews and barbecue. Um, yeah. Is it that far of a stretch to say that, that they're going to tie, uh, make, a, make a real deal with a real company to bring in, um, you know, some, some moonshine to maybe sell in the park? I don't know. We'll see. But another thing uh, in my researching uh, was something called Copperhead Road. Um, and, yeah. and, and, this, and this part of it, uh, if, you, if you look it up, Copperhead Road, um, that this piece of this, actually Copperhead Road refers to anything to do with moonshine. Um, that it, it's an old terminology that, hey, I'm going on Copperhead Road tonight. Um, and, and so we see Copperhead um, being used in that terminology once again with moonshine. Yeah. So I tie this back to what you talked about with Thunder Road and how in, you know, if you talk about the shed and if it, the shed is going to be 530 feet long, I could see them telling a whole story that, hey, there's some moonshiners out in the forest or in this barn trying to, you know, distill moonshine. And then yep, they're using the copper stills to make the moonshine inside this barn or this shed secretly. And we talk about how the original theme of Thunder Road, one track was the hot rod cars and the other track was the police cars. And the original theme of Thunder Road was moonshiners trying to outrun the police. And this will be located in, on the same plot of land, partially, where Thunder Road once was. And we've even seen the White Lightning references. Um, you know, White Lightning is actually a flavor of Old Smoky Moonshine, which is made down in Tennessee. So, um, you know, that's that's a common refrain in the, in the moonshine industry. And the word Copperhead specifically ties back to that whole idea, as, as you mentioned. So I, I think there's a lot of things to be tied together there. Yeah, and I, I think we're coming closer here, and I could see maybe a launch right out the shed, too, which would be kind of exciting, um, you know. Well, and, and you talked about the whole, how the, they're doing the, the products, like the Ruga Brew and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what's the, the other one, Valraven? Do they have one for Valraven? Uh, they, well, they, they have a whole bunch of them now. There, there's yeah. one for Haunt. There's one for... Oh, okay. You know. So, I mean, I could see maybe a partnership even with this, this Copperhead Distillery that's down there in South Carolina, and maybe they even make a specific moonshine called Copperhead Strike. Um, and, and maybe there's kind of a cross theme where it's like it's kind of snakes but not really um I, I i don't know how maybe that would all tie into it um if there would be some sort of crossover somewhere in there but i i would expect that you know we didn't get any posters today which um which struck me as a tad unusual yeah. i was i was thinking it's been you know about a week now since we've seen some so i was thinking that maybe we, we get some more posters uh we didn't at least not yet um i would expect that we will get some more very soon and i would expect that um in correlation to this if we're on the right track i would expect to maybe see uh, you know, a, a handful of posters, uh, maybe at least one of them uh, referring to something that has to do with moonshine. And then yeah. maybe, you know, maybe another one that stays back with the, uh, you know, may the spark plugs and the motor oil. Maybe you'll see one that has to do with uh, a type of racing element or something. We've seen a little bit of that. And then I think, you know, uh, or, or maybe something that ties back into the original teasers where we see talk about barns and sheds i i think i think any of those would be uh would be viable options assuming we get multiple posters yeah which we have in the in you know over the last few weeks so uh we will keep you updated on everything going on down at carowinds and we'll have more updates uh throughout the day about canada's wonderland and kennywood of course as well uh yeah. so uh stay with us here on coasternet um and as always ride on ride warriors see you guys